Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lauren and today I am doing a review and wear test of the all new Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick by Bare Minerals. Um, so this just came out and I'm super excited. I have one of the lipsticks right here. I'm going to talk to you about it, um, talk to you about the ingredients, um, the shade range, and do a wear test on it, see how long it lasts. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So if you would like to see how this lipstick is in comparison to maybe some other lipsticks or hear my opinions, then just keep watching. Before I do anything with the lipstick, I am just going to put on a really light face of makeup. I think that that'll kind of maybe help me to judge it better because if I have a bare face and then makeup on, I'm like not going to be as happy about my face. So um, I'm just going to put on a primer and like probably just conceal and set that or something. I don't know, um, but I'll just speed it up so I don't bore you guys, but yeah. my very like simple face makeup and now I'm just going to talk to you guys about the lipstick so let's start with the packaging it has like a really nice it's plastic I think but it seems very like metallic or maybe it's kind of metal I don't know I don't know I have the shade charisma here it's one of their kind of middle shades I will put up a picture of all of their shades um, when I get to talking about them but yeah it's a really nice sleek packaging and a simple twist up really nice and easy okay let's talk about it I have like the information here in front of me because I don't want to like misinform you guys but I just kind of want to 
give you kind of the information that they would give the general public. So, um, this is a new product. It's the Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. Okay, they are saying that they are the first, it is the first clean, vegan, mineral-infused lipstick with minimal ingredients. Uh, it says it's proven to deliver two times the hydration and two times richer color. Okay, we'll see. So it says that this creamy lipstick drenches lips in hydrating saturated color and nourishing natural botanicals. Mineralist lipstick is proven to <laughs> significantly improve the look of lip lines, texture, and dryness in one week without any unnecessary additives. Okay. Um, it says that it's made with minimum ingredients for maximum results. It has just 19 ingredients, 40% less than traditional lipsticks, and is free of, oh man, unnecessary additives like parabens, um, I don't know what that says, oh, phthalates, synthetic fragrance, <clears throat> and mineral oils. So they have cold pressed fruit oil, so it's packed with minerals, vitamins, and omegas to help provide nourishing hydration. And it also has olive oil extract, which intensifies color for maximum impact in one swipe. Whew. So now we're on to the colors. This line of lipsticks comes in 25 shades. So they have like tons of nudes, reds, burgundies, like purples. So fun. Um, Charisma is kind of like, I mean, I showed you, but it's like a like a burgundy mauvey kind of it's a really pretty color I don't I'm not the best at describing colors but it's very nice so Christmas the one that I have <clears throat> by the way I don't think I mentioned this was sent to my friend from influencer I don't know if I'm supposed to disclose that because it wasn't mine I don't know it says all of the things that they don't have in it um, paraben free phthalate free which we already said it's formaldehyde free chemical um, sunscreen free it's triclosan free, it's microbead free, it's cool tar free, it's mineral oil free, it's propylene glycol free, and it's triclocarbon free. I don't know what that is, but wow. And they're cruelty free. Woo! That's a lot of information, and I didn't know any of it, so that's great. Um, I'm really excited to try this out. I did put chapstick on my lips earlier, and so there is some residual chapstick, I guess. Um, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. I don't know. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So this is the color. See, it's like a really nice, like, burgundy, purpley kind of tone. I don't know. Okay. So this is not with one swipe. It's supposed to go on really nice, right? We're going to do this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Is that the color it's supposed to be with one swipe? It looks not as dark on day two. Hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to get it up on the line of my lip. Okay. Okay, so yeah, my initial thoughts, applying this lipstick, it's very hydrating. Probably didn't need the chapstick before it. I hope that doesn't affect it. Um, it's very like sheeny, like kind of satiny. Definitely not matte at all. And matte is probably, I mean, I like glosses and stuff, but matte is probably my lipstick go-to. So, yeah. very pretty though and the color is very rich I will admit that so super nice what do you guys think so I'm going to go for a little bit I'll check in soon it's 12 54 so basically one o'clock
o'clock. I'm probably going to eat soon, so that'll be a definite wear test thing. I think I'm going to play some games on my iPad because I'm so lame, so I'm going to do that for a bit, and I'll check in with you guys before I eat and then after I eat, so see you guys soon. Hello! So it has been probably about 40-50 minutes or something. It's 1.40 right now. The lighting is not good when I stand right under my ceiling light. Hello! Um, and I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm about to go switch my laundry and eat some lunch. Um, but yeah, so overall, okay, so moisture-wise, my lips feel great. Like, so, so good. I'm, like, obsessed. Um, staying power-wise, there is, like, already, it's, like, leaving the middle part of my lips where, like, they touch and stuff. It's, like, really hard for things to stay there in general, but it's not doing a very good job. But on the rest of the lips, it's staying pretty well in my opinion. I'm gonna go eat and put it to the real test. Okay, see you soon. Okay guys, so I sat, I ate lunch, and I drank a little drink, and you can see it's definitely kind of like breaking up on my lip at that line. I thought I was pretty careful, but it's definitely faded. I don't know. I'm not liking it, honestly. Not liking it very much at all. I'll check in and like an hour we'll see if there's anything left on the lips. Hello. So it is about three o'clock now. I'm checking in again for my lips. They are looking faded and kind of crusty. If you see. It's not the worst. I'm not saying it's the worst. But it's far from the best. I'm a little disappointed. I know they're not like boasting crazy staying power, but I would expect it to stay on at least a couple hours. The color isn't that rich. My lips don't feel that great. I'm just like not impressed with this. Honestly, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't pay money for this. If you have like crazy dry lips and you need something like this, then okay. But for like the normal person, I don't think this is that great of a buy. And I think that's like my final statement with this. I don't think I'm going to keep testing this because it kind of sucks in my opinion. I don't really like it. I don't. No. I don't like it. The color's really nice and I'm sure the other colors are also super nice but I just, I don't know, it's not worth it to me. If you guys um, got a chance to get a, your hands on this, let me know your opinions of it. Otherwise, I think that's really it for this video. I don't really have much more to say. I don't really like it. The end. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up so that I know and I keep doing them. Um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please click that subscribe button and click that bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys super duper soon. Okay, bye!